Welcome to the Sports School Performance Center. I'm Mark Verstegen, the director, and I'm joined today by two unbelievably talented people, Victoria Verstegen and Matthew Verstegen, my niece and my nephew. You guys ready to have a great workout today? Yeah. We're ready. Excellent. We're going to get right into flexibility to try to elongate and stretch out your muscles. And Matt, man, if we do that, what's that going to do for me? It's going to make us perform better. You're darn right. And what else will it do? It'll also improve my posture. They take after their uncle. I can't, I can't help it. I can't help it. Well, let's jump right into work. Victoria, let's go ahead and put your head here and your feet there. Matt, man, put your head there and your feet here. Victoria, your outfit is spectacular, by the way. Thank you. Let's go ahead and hop right down. Our first exercise is the hip crossover. Let's go ahead and try to do one demo rep. Victoria's going to put her arms out to her side. She's going to take her belly button and try to pull it right into the floor. Can you touch the floor? You see that, Matt? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take the knees bent right here, toes up, and Victoria's simply going to rock and then roll. And then we call that one repetition. We're going to do that for eight repetitions. If it gets a little bit easy, you can take your knees and start to rock right up to the chest, and that'll stretch out more of the middle of your back, and she'd rock and roll. If you're feeling really cocky, Matt Man, you take what? Three quarters, and if you're feeling like unbelievably like a superhero, <whistles> legs straight. All right, can we do that? Yes. All right, get yourself ready. Arms out to your side, knees together, and pull those belly buttons right into your spine. We're always gonna start with the feet down. Eight reps, ready? And go. All right, nice and easy. Rock over and rock back. That's the way. Rock over and rock back. Okay, let's go ahead and take your knees up a little bit if you want to, Matt. Victoria, good. That's the way. We have six left. Good, all the way over. Great job, you guys. Keep that belly button right on the ground. And don't let the knees cave over. Control it the whole way. So it's gonna help stretch out the muscles of your torso and make you a little bit stronger right through the middle of your body. We only have four reps left. Can you hang, Matt? Yes. I can see that. You got your feet right off the ground. Good, Victoria's getting up to 90 degrees. We have three. We have two left coming up. Two, two. Matt, man, finish up all the way over one last time. And back. And rest. Whew. Now, you're gonna ask me, say, Uncle Mark, why was that so much work for being a stretch? You know what my answer is? What? Because I never make things easy. <laughs> when we stretch, we really wanna make sure that we can stretch the muscle out, and then we wanna contract back through it, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so our next stretch, what we're gonna do, is called an active hamstring stretch. Who wants to volunteer for that? I volunteer Victoria. <laughs> oh, wonderful, he does it again. All right, here we go. We're off right on his back, head right here. Victoria's gonna take her right knee. She's gonna pull it right up to her chest. She's gonna grab right behind her knee. Then we're gonna take that knee right up to your chest and she's gonna try to straighten that leg out as best she can by firing the muscle in the front of the thigh. We're then gonna drop the heel back down and that would be one repetition. We're gonna do it eight times. The key point, fire the muscle in the front part of the thigh to stretch the muscle in the back. And the second thing is when you get to the top of the stretch mat, what do we wanna do? Exhale. Darn right. And that'll let that that's energy relax right out of your body. Okay, here we go. Let's hop back. Hug your right knee right to your chest. You can keep this off knee bent. And up. Nice and easy. Exhale. And bring it back down. Try to get your body to relax. Up and exhale. We're going to hold this for one to two seconds. Matt, that is a great job. And bring it back down. And up. Three. Great job, you two. Up, four. It doesn't take a whole lot of time every day, just a little bit. Up, five, good. Up, six, good, we have two more. And notice what Matt's doing, go again. Up, seven, he's really doing a nice job of pulling this toe right up toward his shin and that adds a stretch back here, it's a little tougher that way. Last one, up, and exhale, and rest. Do you feel a little bit more, Matt, when you pull that toe up? Yeah. Good, and that's a good thing to do. Always look for a little better stretch. Okay, let's hit to the other side. Tuck up that left knee right to your chest, and let's go to it. All the way up, and exhale, and relax. All the way up, and exhale, good. Two good reps out of eight. Good, up and exhale. Our goal is to just get one degree more every rep. Can we do that, Matt? Yep. One degree isn't very much. That's the way. We have four left. 
And Victoria, if we did eight repetitions and we got one degree better every time, how many degrees would we have improved our flexibility? Eight degrees. Beautiful. Good. Here we go. Last rep. All the way up. And rest. Now we're going to go into a calf stretch. Our calf stretch is the muscle that goes right in behind our shin. And it can get tight a lot of times, especially when you start growing fast. Like me, I'm still growing. See how tall I am? <laughs> Victoria, not so tall. I'm really tall. That was funny, huh? Yeah, I thought so. All right, we're going to do our calf stretch. Who wants to volunteer that one? Victoria? I think Matt should go this time. I love it when sisters volunteer. All right, Matt's going to show us this stretch. He's going to go right down and put his hands right in front of him, almost like a push-up position. We're then going to take his belly button, and he's going to suck it right in close to his real skinny right through here. Then he's going to take his leg straight, and he's going to stack this other leg on top. And Matt's goal is to pull his toes right up to his shin by firing or squeezing the muscle in the front of your shin. And then when he does that, he feels a stretch here. Do you feel that, Matt? Yes. Good, and then he'll push away. Excellent. Then he pushes all the way through that range of motion. That'll warm everything up and stretch it out. Matt, go ahead and rest. Okay, Victoria, let's get into position. You get into position, and we're going to go for eight reps each side. Matt showed us perfectly. You ready, Victoria? Yes. Good. Let's pull that toe up toward your shin and push it away. Good. Pull that toe up toward your shin, blow out. Push it away. Good. Pull that toe up toward your shin. That's what we call lengthening or stretching. And then we're going to push it away, what we call strengthening. Isn't that amazing, lengthening and strengthening? You can almost make a rap song out of that, Victoria. What do you think? <laughs> uh, you can try. Good. All the way up and then all the way down. We have three reps left. Pull it up. Matt, you're doing a great job. Pull it up and push it away. Good. Pull it up and push it away. Last one. And rest. Great job, you guys. Now I'm going to give you a little secret that a lot of our professional athletes use that you need to as well to help improve your posture and make this exercise a little easier. Victoria, I'm going to have you go right back down there since you're up front here. Get in the exact same position, and I'm just going to give you that one key. Go ahead and get up. Victoria's going to make sure she pulls that belly button right into her spine just like that so she stays real straight through her back and then also keeps those shoulders pushed away. Her head's right in line even though her ponytail wants to keep pulling her down. <laughs> so let's go ahead and switch sides, and we'll do the other ankle. Eight repetitions. You ready, Matt Man? Yep. All right, let's show them how it's done. Pull a toe up toward your shin and exhale, and push away. You guys are so good. Pull it up, and push it away. Good. Now when you go down and stretch, pull that toe up toward your shin, exhale just like Matt's doing, and then push it away. Good. And when we pull that toe up toward your shin, you're going to feel lengthening. And then push it away, strengthening. Pull that toe all the way up toward your shin, lengthen it, and now strengthen it. Oh. It's kind of the universal sound for strengthening. Good, pull it up, push it away. We have two left, pull it up. Victoria, are you feeling that? Yes. Great job. Last one coming up, pull it up, and push it away. Excellent job, you two. Our next stretch, we don't need to have any mats. So let's go ahead and I'll take those out of your way. And Victoria, I'm going to have you go right here. Matthew, I'll have you go right here. And I'm going to show you guys what we call the world's greatest stretch. The world's greatest stretch is the one exercise that I would do every morning when I woke up if I didn't have time for anything else. So make sure that your body stretches all out and the inside, the backside, the low back, just about everything. So you guys, let's take a little step out, or a big step out, I'm sorry, with your right leg. Matt, go ahead and come up here a little bit closer to me. There you go, right there, and take a big step up. Perfect, we're gonna take a big step out, put that left leg down, or that left arm right down here. Take that right elbow and try to put it right into your instep, and exhale. You feel that stretch, Matt? Yeah. Good step size, I like that, Victoria, good step size. Now take your right hand, put it right outside your right foot, we're gonna push your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Straightening out, that's what's gonna help get that big hamstring stretch. And we'll repeat that, okay? Can you guys handle that? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see it. Matt's ready to go. Victoria, let's assume the position. We are gonna do four reps off each side. All right, let's put that left hand down. Matt's right into it. And exhale. Perfect. And now put the right hand outside the knee here and push tall. Good. Now, Matt is in that prime growth stage, which you guys may hit 
anywhere between 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. And let's go ahead and drop in and get another rep. We're just gonna stay right in place, Victoria. Oh. <laughs> That's right, just slide back. Perfect. So you don't need a whole lot of space to do it. Matt's hitting that prime growth age right there, where he's really, go ahead and come all the way up, Matt. Good, push tall. Where his bones are really trying to get stretched, his muscles are all stretched, and it's really important we keep flexibility up during this time. Victoria, let's go ahead and reach again. And all the way down and exhale. Whew, that's perfect. And then all the way up tall and exhale. Good, your legs may burn just a little bit, but that's okay. And then one more time. I think you're getting more flexible, Matt, man. What do you think? Yeah. Definitely. Every rep, we want to get just a little bit better in everything in life. And rest. Well done, you guys. All right, go ahead and catch your breath. If you need to hit pause, grab a quick drink. That's all right. Unfortunately, you guys don't have remote controls, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wish you did. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and just switch legs. We're going to do four more reps on the other leg forward. Big step out. That's the way. And let's go ahead and reach that elbow. Okay, Victoria, great example right there. Put that right hand down. Reach that elbow right to your instep. That's going to stretch the muscles out here and here and the muscles of her back leg. Now push tall. Good. Push nice and tall, Matt. Now Matt's going to get a great stretch right through here. You feel that? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Let's go again. We have three more. And big reach and exhale. Good job, you guys. And push tall. It just takes a little bit, but let's make sure we do the right things. Good. That's the way. And go again. Big reach. Exhale. Get a little better every rep. Good. And push tall. Oh, we are getting more flexible. Big time more flexible. And last one. Big reach. Now this is important so that we can nice and elongate the muscle, walk with better posture and improve your performance. And up tall. And rest. Fabulous. Fabulous job. Well done. All right, let's go ahead and stand up and just shake out those legs a little bit. If you need to hit pause and go get a drink, great. We're going to be here when you get back. But we want to make sure that we're going to get right through this flexibility session. You're going to feel great when we're done. We're almost finished. Next to the last one we have, exercise called hand walks. Who wants to volunteer for that? Victoria will. Again. He is such great reaction time. Again, we must get that from Uncle Mark. Okay, Victoria, we're going to go into hand walks. I'm going to have you go right here. Okay. This exercise is going to help give us some shoulder stability and strength, which is a good thing to help posture. It's going to really focus on our midsection in here, and we're going to stretch out the muscle of our hamstrings and glutes. So let's go ahead and show them what that looks like. Okay. Victoria's going to put her arms down, make sure she pushes away here, her belly button's right into her spine, and her legs are going to stay straight right there where her stripes are. She's then going to walk her feet, only using the ankles, right up toward her hands, and then she can go right on the fingertips right at the end, get a few more steps. Oh, she feels a stretch there. Now she's going to stabilize her shoulders, pull her belly button in, and go again, and rest, Victoria. I don't want you to have to do too many since it's just an example. <laughs> now we're going to actually go to the work set. Okay, this may be a little challenging for you, but we call it the world's second greatest stretch because it gives you more bang for your buck. Victoria, we'll go here. Matt Man, we'll go right over here. And we're gonna do this for four repetitions. Let's get ready to go. Okay, tummy's tight. And let's go right into it. Good. Matt's doing a nice job pushing away. Belly button's in. Now this is gonna be a challenge. He's in his big growth spurt. Go again, Matt. There it is, the legs stay straight. Good, now notice Matt's pulling his toes right up toward his shins. He has to go to his fingertips early. Okay, pull the toes more up like this, Matt. There it is, good. And walk out again. That's about as far as Matt's gonna go right now. But if you do this time and again, you're gonna get more and more flexible. Good fingertips, Matt. Always got a couple of steps, pull his toes up toward his shins. Oh, that stretches the calves. Last one on this one. And we'll turn around and we'll go for that last rep. Stay real tight in your core. Oh, the hamstrings, fingertips, fingertips, reach, 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 and rest. Whew. You like the good news or the bad news? Uh, bad news first. Bad Wait, news yes. is you ran out of stage. <laughs> the good news is I can count and you have one more left, so let's face the other way. If you need to do these in place, this is what you can also do. You can walk your hands out, and then you can walk your legs up, all the way up, and then you can just step back as far as you can reach, hold, and then go again. That is an option for if you don't have a lot of space. You guys do. <laughs> one more repetition, please. Pull in those shoulder blades. Legs straight, good, really work at the ankles. Good fingertips, Matt, legs straight, and rest. Excellent. That is a great stretch and it is a little bit of work. Yeah. Yeah. 
No kidding. I don't know how I keep sliding it in there, but I do. The last stretch that we're going to have is the lateral lunge. Victoria, who should we nominate for that? Um, this fine young man right here. Oh, oh. Matt, thank you. Wonderful. Let's step right up front, right up here. And let's go ahead and show that lateral lunge. Take a big step out with your right leg. Okay, I'm going to have you go right across the stage because I don't want you to cheat yourself any reps. Okay, go ahead and go right. Now the big key points. Toes go. In the same direction. Perfect. Straight ahead. He's going to straighten out this left leg. He's going to rock over to his right. Now notice, Matt, the next big thing is this perfect posture. Boy, that's good. He's going to feel a big stretch right through here, maybe a little burn right there. Then he's going to bring his back foot up, and he's going to step out. We're going to do that again. Can we handle that? We can handle that. Okay, Matt, you've done your demo reps. Let's start right back over. I'm going to do this, Matt. While you catch your breath a minute, Victoria, why don't you get a lead by two steps? Okay. Okay, we have four repetitions each. Step out, both toes straight ahead, both feet flat and set the hips back more, Victoria, that way, and let your chest lean forward a little bit more. There you go. That's there it. Go. And go again. That's the way. Good two down. Good technique. Hey, you can beat her, sister. Of course they can. Good, let's go ahead and show her. <laughs> All right, go ahead and step out. Victoria, set the bar high. Matt, right toe straight ahead. Oh, it's a good effort right here. Nice <laughs> posture, Victoria. It's all coming down to the posture. And go again. Good, we have four total reps. Left leg straight, Victoria, perfect. How many was that, three or four, Victoria? That was four. Oh, she's always keeping track. Good, Matt, go again. That's where Victoria rests. Right toe straight ahead, Matt. Right toe straight ahead. That, babe, good posture. And one small step, Matt. Don't go off the stage, I'll lose you. And sit back and down. Good, sit the hips back. That's the way. And the good news is we're gonna bring it right back. Here we go, Matt, you're gonna lead it off this time. Go ahead and take it right back. Good, both toes straight ahead. It's a nice step. Hold that good posture. That's it, now sit back and down. Now that step was a little aggressive, I think. Take a little smaller one, go again. Take a little smaller step. That's it, both toes straight ahead. Good, get that right leg straight. All right, Victoria, let's go ahead and roll in, lady. That's the way, go again. Good, straight leg, perfect posture. Good, relax that one. Good, Victoria, that's perfect. Step out, leg straight. Matt, that is your perfect rep. It was a 10 right here. Now, Victoria, what I really like about this is that great posture and that leg straight. Matt, man, go ahead and rest. Go again, Victoria. Now, notice when Victoria gets in here, you're seeing a lot of nice angles. This leg is straight, good angles here, good posture, just like Matt's last rep. And she's got a nice sitting the hips back this way, keeping her toes straight ahead. Wonderful. Oh, it's a tight race. I'll give it to the Verstegans. <laughs> Easy bet. <laughs> well, you guys just took everything I had to dish out. Do you feel like you're more flexible? Yeah. Excellent. Well, that is our flexibility session here at Sports School, and we'll look forward to sharing some more secrets with you in episodes to come.